driving through Colorado at night, and I ask myself, John, what inspires you? What would give your life purpose? I said, I'm gonna build a ginormous foot. Hear me out. It's gonna be, I'm gonna take balloons, right? I'm gonna buy balloons. Then, I'm gonna buy helium. I'm gonna tie the balloons with helium in a grid pattern to make just a ginormous food, foot. A ginormous foot. And I'm gonna release it out of a park. It'll just float over a city. And everyone will look up and they'll see this giant foot. And they'll be inspired. They'll understand feet are beautiful. The form of the human foot is nothing to be ashamed of. Everyone will look down at their feet and have confidence in them. These are beautiful foundations to my body. These feet are perfect. And they'll run towards the foot as it floats through the air. And the foot will float and float and it will rise higher and higher. And it will try to ascend to the heavens. But then, the bones are going to lose helium and it's going to come down. And as the foot, the giant foot, Rops to the ground, and all the people gather around and singing and chanting. I'll know that I've done something truly worthwhile. I've inspired humanity to rise above common everyday occurrences and embrace the beauty of the peace. So, I'm just gonna find out how much healing is. Or we can do. Then it was that the angels, looking down from heaven, seeing the great foot, were moved by great inspiration, bringing forth their harps and the poets of old. They concocted a beautiful poem. My feet cannot abide these dungeons you call shoes. They're used to running free by rocks and thorns abused. They're cooled by running water. They're tortured by the sun. Though prisons have their safety, this naked soul needs none.